the question we're going to be taking the derivative of y equals the square root of x plus 1 except we're going to do it with the uh, limit process or also known as the definition of derivative or also known as the first principles but actually let's let's just see what sort of answer we're going to get so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it with just the chain rule or the uh, power rule and so we know that our answer is right when we actually get there so let's rewrite this as x plus 1 to the half which means y prime is 1 half x plus 1 to the minus half and I can simplify this as 1 over 2 root x plus 1 so when we actually do the limit definition that should be our result alright so let's get started so we have the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h hopefully you remember that so we're going to use this so rewrite this as the limit as h approaches 0 of root x plus 1 plus h minus root x plus 1 all over h alright remember that this is our goal here to get to this point now uh, what we'd like to do is just plug in 0 right now for h but we can't because we can never divide by 0 so always our goal is to get rid of the h right here make sure that we can plug in uh, 0 and not divide by 0 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by what's called the conjugate so it's the exact same thing except plus but I have to multiply by 1 which means I gotta do it on the, both the numerator and the denominator so I don't actually change the value okay so because these are uh, you can see this in the numerator here and the numerator here these are um, it's a perfect square sorry it's a difference of two squares so I'm going to multiply this by this this by this this by this and this by this we're going to get this piece times this piece and this piece times this piece are going to be the same but they're going to be the opposite so they'll be they'll subtract from each other so that's the whole purpose of this to get rid of that and this piece squared will be just x plus 1 plus h and then this piece squared the minus though minus x plus 1 all over h times root x plus 1 plus h plus root x plus 1 and don't forget your limit as h approaches 0 okay so let's simplify this now We're almost done limit as h approaches 0 some things will cancel we get an x minus an x here and a 1 minus a 1 so in the numerator we're left with just h in the denominator we have h and root x plus 1 plus h plus root x plus 1 and now we can cancel these h's so then we have the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 over root x plus 1 plus h plus root x plus 1 and now we can plug in 0 because when we plug in 0 now for h the denominator won't be 0 so if we plug in 0 which means as soon as you plug in 0 you don't have to write the limit anymore we'll get 1 over root x plus 1 plus root x plus 1 which you know to be 1 over 2 root x plus 1 and if you remember that is what we thought we would get 